Welcome back to Ride and Glide. It's me, Pascal, and him, Toby. Here it is. Here it is. Right, Toby. Yep. First of all, we're going to take a look at the specs. What else are we going to do, Tobes? Take it out. Then what we're going to do? Sweet jumps. Sweet jumps. We're going to go to Spooks Trails and hit the jumps as hard as we or the actual proper BMX riders can do as hard as possible. That's definitely not us. Let's take a look at the spec. Biggest difference between this and the original Zoo's Urban Ultralight? Color. Color. We have color. We've come out of the grays or the chromes, I should say. Yeah. And we're into the blacks. Yeah. Also comes in white. Well done. And there are new chrome colors as well. New chrome colors? Chrome a color? Chrome's a way of life. <laughs> Anyway, what else do you notice the difference on this bike? That oh, was like not on the original. Okay. It's quite hard to see from where you are right there. Why don't you get, why don't you get around, around the front? Oh, I know what you're saying. I know what you're talking about. This little, this little beauty here. Yes, so a new integrated headlight. Zoo's branding on there. It looks really cool. You can actually buy them to retrofit to the old bikes as well, but it's a really nice feature. They've added that now because it's nice to have lights on your bike. Also, a rear light under the seat here. Yeah. And it is a brake light as well. Yeah. Guess what else is a new feature on this uh, wow. lovely bike? Well, it's got a new display. It's definitely got a new display. Did you know that? I, I didn't. There Thanks for go. telling me. You're welcome. But... This one's still got the plastic on. Can I take it off? No. Oh, okay. I don't like taking plastic off. Are you one of those peely? still on your phone? Are you one of those peely? Yeah. Uh, oh, definitely. Out of um, the box, plastic off, I hate off, it. Do you know, if someone peels the plastic off something of mine, <laughs> honestly, it irritates me so much. I'm not, Noted. there's not many more things I get angry about than that in my life. Is that because you... And goes, oh, that's getting annoying, and just rips it off. I'm like, why do you do that? It can have the throttle on. Now, UK bikes don't come as standard with the throttle on. It's an addition. They come with it in the box, but obviously you're not allowed to ride on the roads with the throttle under the electric bike laws, unless you want it to be low powered moped or even a motorbike. And then you have to go through the process of getting it all registered, blah, 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 blah tax insurance, you know, and all that stuff. Okay. Now, because yeah. this is a 250, it means it's got the 250 watt motor road legal in the UK, Europe, if it meets the speed criteria. Mm -hmm. Uh, and doesn't have the throttle on. They also do the Zoos 750 and they also do the 1100 as well. So the motor's just getting bigger. Obviously those models are gonna be private land use only in this country and around Europe. Obviously yep. in America and the rest of the world, there are different rules on that. So make sure you check before you ride. Indeed. Or you could end up in the slammer. You could. Yeah, and you've been there, you know. So we'll take a look at this. Oh, there is, there, like is, this. there is, there is, there uh, is another addition to this, which is quite yep. an important addition, um, which you won't be able to see. But the crank is okay. now integrated with the cadence sensor in the bottom bracket. Okay. Do you know what you're saying? No, these are just words. <laughs> I read them off Suze's website though, and it sounded really good. Why do you, I do know stuff? Okay, there we go. So the square taper design has been replaced by 24 millimeter spline chrome alley shaft making it stronger and more durable apparently. So it's gonna be able to handle a lot more abuse. Cool. Not verbal abuse, physical abuse. Good, because yeah. I think that's probably what people are gonna be putting it through. I don't know. I don't know. No, you know. <laughs> seat looks very, very similar to the original. I'm sure it's the same seat. Yeah. Can't see any differences there. Yeah, it looks the same. Batteries now have a logo on them. So there obviously on this one is a 250. So you will see that it says Zoos 250 on it. This is a 36 volt, 60 amp hour battery. That's gonna give you up to 40 miles of range, depending on how you're riding, how heavy you are. How much what work time? you wanna put in. How much work you wanna put in, exactly that, Toby. Yeah. We haven't spoken about the brakes yet. The brakes look very similar to the originals, but they do have a longer handle now. So they look a bit like the old Zoom hydraulic discs, yeah. but they've definitely got longer lever and they do feel a little bit higher quality. Okay. Not sure, haven't tested them out yet. We've got 160 mil rotors front and back, which is gonna give you some good stopping power. Mm -hmm. Even though it's ultralight, only weighs 20 kilograms, as we found out, it can take 120 kilos of weight, plenty of room Nice for two. What zoos have also done on these new models, which we haven't mentioned yet, and you didn't pick up, Toby, was that there are many, many fixing points now. And what they've done is designed a front rack and a rear rack and loads of aftermarket parts can be fitted to them. And they've designed them in the set, and you can go on Zuzi's website well, uh, as well and check them out, but they've designed them in a way that they're compatible with so many other products on the market. Let's get out there. Let's get out there. So we've made it out of the studio. We are out, out. And we have brought one of the coolest bikes around all the way from California. Is it from California? Don't know. Is it from California? We've brought a bike all the way from the US to one of the most vibrant and happening places in the UK, the sunny south coast, the quintessential British town of Worthing. Here are some facts about Worthing. It's by the sea. It has classic 
architecture like this. This is a beautiful building we're standing in here, very British. These are used, they're mainly used by vagrants uh, to consume alcoholic beverages of an evening and most of the day. Luckily, they're not here now. We are. This is one of the most happening areas in the whole of the UK. If you've never been to the UK, you need to check out Worthing because it has stuff like this, shelter. It's got another one up there about a mile as well and some beach huts and it's got a beach. And you know, if you've never been to the beach, it's pretty cool. Unless you're a mum with kids and they'd hate it because sand gets everywhere, but men kind of like it because we stare out and you know gaze into nothingness and get really deep like you do when you're riding the Zoos 250. So let's get on the bike and check it out. We're rolling. We're literally rolling. I haven't even turned the bike on yet. So there is no pedal assist. We're on a nice smooth promenade as you can see, but I'm still able to ride the bike. I wouldn't fancy riding it up hills, but as it goes, it's pretty easy to cycle. Now, none of you want to see me manually pedaling a bike. Oh, I just turned it on, it immediately gave me a boost. So I'm in mode one now. This is obviously restricted to 15 mile an hour. But as you can see, I'm literally just touching the pedals, cruising along at around 10 kilometers an hour. I've got a plus and minus at the bottom of the display, which I'm then gonna push up. Oh, just wave at some fans there. We're pretty famous around these parts. As I've said, Worthing's a pretty vibrant and happening place, and we're pretty vibrant and happening people. Cool stuff happens around here. 16 kilometers, 17 kilometers. It will get us up to about 24, 25 before it stops working. Right, so a bit of pedal power now. Oh, it's nice and smooth. This is only the 250 watt, remember. This is the lowest powered in the range and the only one that you are allowed to ride in some of the areas around the UK and Europe as a bicycle but it is restricted to 50 mile an hour and you cannot use the throttle. So don't do it. It does come with one, but it's not connected. So unless you're on private land, that's at your own, what's it called? Discretion. Discretion. Oh, it's not even filming me. That's at your own discretion. Having the bigger tires here than a normal BMX, obviously we've got 24 inch, does make it a lot smoother, but it doesn't make it feel quite like your classic BMX that you're used to. They obviously have smaller tires. But what it does is, like I said, it gives you a smoother ride, it eats up the ground quicker. I'm barely pedaling, there's no effort here at all, and we're covering, you know, quite a lot of area. This is nice. Now we're on a nice track. There's no one about, we can get up to speed. Over 20 kilometers an hour now, here we go, one wheeler. He's one wheeling. Oh, he's beating me because it's restricted. I have to pedal fast. So as soon as it gets to 15, it's restricted. It won't let me go faster than that 25, unless I pedal harder, and I don't want to pedal harder. This is what the Zoos does. It allows you to see the sights in style. You kind of feel like you're cool. I'm like nearly 40. You don't feel it when you ride this bike. It's nostalgic. It brings you back. I want to talk about the differences between the old 250 and the new 250. So we've talked about it obviously in the spec, but the light you're not going to be able to see now. But the actual crank as I'm pedaling feels really strong. And the other one didn't. I never really noticed it. But now they've talked about the improvements. It does feel solid. It feels like you can put a lot of pressure through there. <laughs> Look at me shoot away. So if I didn't have the Zoos bike, I would have had to walk to places like this. How pedestrian. Whereas with the Zoos, I can get here in seconds. I'm not sweating. I can gaze at the view. Look, you can see all the way over there to the Seven Sisters. I think to myself, how did I ever live without a Zoos bike? It's time to move on from here, but I don't know if I'll ever actually spiritually move on from this moment. So you've seen what the zoos can do in an urban environment. We've come out here to the wonderful Spooks Trails in the wild woods of West Sussex to put the Zeus 250 through its paces. We'll be handing it over to one of these nutters to see what they can do with it. Let's go!
So as you've seen from the footage that we just you've just been watching moments ago, um, Tom's been sending it over these jumps here. So we're going to have a quick chat with him and see what he thought. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, great fun bike. Lots of power. Just coming back up the hills is fantastic. Well, we can no see problem. on the way back up, Anthony <laughs> was panting on his way back up and you were just cruising back you up. You were on your way back, back down there. when he was on his way up. Um, so yeah, one of the benefits of having an electric bike, less pedaling, more fun. So yeah, we've had a great day here at Spooks Trails. Thanks for watching guys. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, give us a like down below. If you didn't enjoy the video, leave a comment and tell us why. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any more of our content, ring the little bell and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Woo! <laughs>